Garage gyms have created a convenience of no longer having to rely on gyms or wait for equipment. You have the freedom to do what you want with the space, but at what cost does this help or does it hinder your competitive aspiration? I made the choice a year ago to switch to a garage gym full time and be a garage gym athlete. Make sure you hit that like button so we can boost this YouTube algorithm even more. Just think of the time you waste going to the gym and coming home could be 30 minutes of your time when you could have more time to work out get stuff done at home with that time you are driving you will not be able to get that time back that you have to go to the gym so if you can make changes to help optimize your time it is a plus a garage gym is definitely a time and money saver but one of the hardest things in general for a competitive crossfit athlete or an athlete in general is just pushing mentally so this is where you are trying to push past where your brain thinks that you need to stop. And being in a garage gym, it's one of the hardest things to do because you are in isolation by yourself. Most gyms are going to have comparative athletes to you or athletes that are better. So you're going to have a much easier chance to get pushed in a workout, which I call this external motivation. But what do you do when you don't have friends working out with you? When you're all alone at the gym and no one is there, do your workout struggle? Do you not work out as hard? Do you cut back on some of your programming? Do you not do everything? So do you lose motivation at all? To be honest, the first month of being in a garage gym was probably the hardest thing that I had to do because I had to learn internal motivation and how to actually push myself. I really relied on others before moving to a garage gym. One of the biggest books that I have read recently is called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I'm gonna leave that book in the description down below. It's a very good mentality book in understanding that we only reach 40% of our total capacity when our brain wants to shut down. So with the book, I really want you guys to make sure that you guys do the challenges because that's what separates this book from any other book. I'm gonna do a review on this book later on. Please go check it out. It does wonders for yourself. I think having internal motivation and and being able to battle your own brain by yourself is definitely going to be better longevity than having external motivation and relying on others to do this for you. When it's competition time, you'll have a better understanding of how your body actually handles pain. You'll be able to stay in your own lane because you are used to working out by yourself. I'm not saying that having people to work out with you is a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing to have have that option where you're able to work out by yourself and understand what your body is actually capable of when you push that mind further. You can always invite people over to work out in the garage gym. Just people have talked about training centers. So these are CrossFit Games athletes or semifinal athletes coming together to train together. Do these really work? Is it the best chance to be a competitive athlete? I think on equipment side, these training centers are gonna have more equipment than you're gonna have they might be better prepared for those equipment, but there's always options for you to buy budget options to manipulate these equipment for the future competitions. But I would say this is kind of one downfall of having a garage gym. You're gonna have to buy these equipment and you might not use it every day, so it's not the best thing for a garage gym to have. If you have the space and able to buy all these equipment, then there's no worrisome or downfall there for you. Looking at a normal garage gym goer, they're gonna struggle with buying all the equipment that they really need for these competitions, or they're limited with space on what they can get. This would just be a big downfall, but there are ways around this, whether that's going to the gym for a day out of the week or a day out of the month to go test this equipment. So you actually have your hands on equipment. There are plenty of options for budget options that could substitute for the bigger equipment that you could see. You just need to really think out of the side of the box and do some research on what you can do. So from the past year, I've really learned that I can still be a competitive athlete and I think anyone can too. It just takes time and getting used to being able to push yourself past that limit than you really think. I really think you give yourself a couple months of pushing yourself and building that internal motivation. Here's a video I made about motivation. Go check that out. It's good tips on what I use as well. I have really started building my mental cookie jar. I reach into this every time I'm kind of in a suffering of pain with a workout, anything in that sorts. If I'm kind of down, I'll reach into this and it'll show me my battles that I've won. This is something out of that book. I would definitely go check it out. It, it definitely helped my motivation a lot. Garage gyms are a great thing. 
if you build it the right way, you'll have more success and longevity of being in the garage gym in the future. Thank you.